Okay, all of what all of what we we dealt with in the past few weeks has been a prelude to what we're going to deal with now. Okay? Because now we're getting into actual Catholic social teaching. I needed to provide you with a foundation for that. Okay? What the human person is, um, how we can know things, okay? um, how we don't have to have skepticism and doubt about things, as many of the modern philosophers do. Uh, we can know our human nature, what's good for human nature, the virtues, and, um, and principles such as non-contradiction, okay? We have to know those things. And then that the Catholic Church is a body that's instituted by Christ to teach. Because we're going to be studying the Catholic Church's teaching on social matters. That's what this course is. And this goes for the whole year. So, um, so with really beginning formally the Catholic Church's, Church's social teaching, uh, we, we deal with the word society. Social, society, same root word, okay. So when we talk about society, what are we talking about? What, what comes to your mind when you think of society Anyone, society, what what image do you have? Okay. We talk about society, it's a word we kind of take for granted. Yes, Michael? Uh, it's all your inner what's around you. It's, well, everything, you're in it, it's all around you, okay, that's yes. society. Okay. Any other any other views? I mean, we can just use our reason to try to figure out what society is. Well, I'm going to write down a, a definition of society for you, okay? Because um, <clears throat> we know things when we are able to define them okay? and to explain them. That's why I have you writing things, because when I write and you hear me and then you write and think about it, it helps to make it part of our, our mental makeup. We know something when we can define it. And definitions are important. When we're talking about society. Well, what is society? What are we talking about? Yes, we're in it. It's all, it's all around us. That's true. But um, a society is a permanent moral union. It's not a physical union. We're not talking about uniting physically with people. Moral is a spiritual union. So society is a, first of all, okay, just to divide it up, okay, permanent moral, okay, you can say spiritual too. <coughs> so bless you. Thanks. Union. Where it is first, okay? Of two or more people, okay? So we have small societies or big ones, okay? Two or more people. Thirdly, um, striving together, striving for, for a common good. Good that's shared, okay? and um, they do that by cooperating, okay? cooperative activity. Okay? So, so you can see with this definition, you could apply it to society at large. 
It doesn't necessarily have to be a common good. It can be common goods, too, okay? It could be more than one good, but usually you have a common good. Society as a whole can be looked at this way. And the society of um, um, just voluntary societies that people enter into. We have volleyball teams, football teams, we have golf clubs, we have um, the Knights of Columbus, we have different little societies, groups that, you know, they're bound together for some purpose, um, for some common good, and they're striving to attain it by cooperating. Everyone cooperates. You couldn't have a good volleyball team unless you're cooperating. You, you know, you know you're, you're, who's going to be setting, who's going to be, you know, returning the ball, um, so on and so forth. So uh, society is it's kind of a fluid definition, but it gives us an idea of what society is. So now, <clears throat> an important thing we have to realize in talking about church's social teaching is this, a principle, okay, man, okay, when I say man, I mean men and women, okay, man generic, it's just easier than saying, you know, men and women, okay, man, the generic, you know, we don't have, we don't have a, a neuter in our English language, okay, in, um, in, in Latin, we do, but we don't. So I just say man is social, social by nature. We're social by nature. People get together and do things. Okay? They get together in a moral union, two or more people striving for a common good, cooperating activity. They do this all the time. By nature, we're social. We are social, social beings. Okay. So man is social by nature. He is a social creature. Okay. Creature meaning we're created, we're not God. Some people think they're gods, but they're not. Okay. A social creature. Okay. A political creature. Social creature, political creature. By nature, people tend to gather together and do things. That's that's our nature. And um, how do we know that we're social by nature? How can we know this? This is this is something that's a teaching of the church, okay? And it's a teaching that that is arrived at through use of something that God gives us. What do you think that is, Christopher? What am I talking about? Intellect, yeah. I mean, our, using our reason, common sense, we can come to know by studying man, okay, that we're social by nature. Remember, H, N, A, U. Human nature adequately understood. You reflect on human nature. You look at how people act. You can, by looking at human nature, adequately understanding it, determine that man is a social creature. He's social by nature. That's, that's an important principle, one of the foundational principles we have to consider when we're, we're looking at man. Okay. And we reflect on man, his, his nature, we know he's social. The great philosophers, Aristotle, St. Thomas Aquinas, they said that man is a social creature. The Catholic Church teaches man is social by nature. Great philosophers and the Church teach this. It's a truth, objective truth, objective. We are social by nature. Now, having said that, um, remember our, our friends we discussed a couple of weeks ago, Thomas Hobbes and John Locke, who said they're filled with doubt. We can't know what human nature is. You know, we, we just can't figure out what right and wrong is, what's moral and immoral. Well, guess what they said? They said man 
is not social by nature. Thomas Hobbes and John Locke and other philosophers of the Enlightenment era, okay, you judge for yourselves whether they're enlightened, that's what they call them. Uh, I think it's a period of mental darkness because you get philosophers like Thomas Hobbes and John Locke who, who said stupid things like man is not a social creature. That, that uh, it's not part of our nature to be social because we can't know our nature, that's what they said. Well, that is not true. That's not objective truth. Okay? Um, Thomas Hobbes and John Locke okay, were wrong. And uh, just, just see you'll know in the future, because this may be the only class you'll ever hear this. It's likely you will, because I don't think I ever looked at going through four years of college and three years of law school and, and other other schooling I went through, a lot of it, okay? Um, Thomas Hobbes and John Locke, okay? Hobbes, okay? Hobbes and John Locke, okay? Philosophers, okay? They were from England, okay? They were French once too, but not the same way, okay? They said, okay, man is not social by nature, not actually they said we can't know what man's nature is okay so I mean logically it follows that they're if they're going you can't know what man's nature is so we can't say he's social by nature well Thomas Hobbes and John Locke man is not social by nature um, they said man enters into society by a social contract, okay? A social contract. In other words, we freely choose, we will, okay? Freely will and choose, okay? To enter society. And if you think about it, have any of us, I, speaking for myself, I never chose to enter into society. Well, now I guess I'm going to choose to enter into society, to enter into family society, a society, I'll enter into my family, I'll enter into my school society, I'll enter into society as, as, as a country, as a state. Okay? Well, no, this is, uh, we don't freely choose to enter into a society. It's by nature. We just, we, we, we are born into it, we grow into it, and it's not something you're choosing to do. It's by the will, okay? You choose, you will, freely will, to choose to enter into society. No, no, this is not the Catholic Church's teaching. This is a false teaching. I just say this because um, stupid theories of social theory emanate from people like Thomas Hobbes and John Locke. And we have to know which ones are good and which ones are bad. This is a bad social theory. And it, but it's very popular, uh, or it was popular. Okay. Um, the common sense experience tell us that we enter into society by nature. I mean, at three years old, no one decides, well, I think I'll, I'll stay in my family. This is a good family. I'll stay in my neighborhood, I'll stay in my school. No one's really choosing to do this. We just, we just do it by nature. People gather together and form societies by nature. So. Hobbes and Locke, they're supposedly enlightened thinkers. No, 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 they're not, okay. So, um, they're, they're in the dark, in my opinion. But uh, we, we have to know the errors as well as the truth, okay. And that's one of the major errors that, that was put forth uh, for, for hundreds of years going back to, to these fellows who lived in the late 1600s, early 1700s. Now, let's look at evidence that man is social by nature, okay? Because there is evidence, we have this. Evidence, man is social by nature. 
One of the primary evidence is something that I'm doing right now and that we do as human beings and that only human beings out of God's material creatures, that's us, okay? actually even immaterial, the angels can't do it. Okay? The angels don't do it because they don't have vocal cords. What I'm doing right now is evidence of the fact that we are social by nature. What am I doing right now, Mitch? I'm speaking. Speech is evidence that we are social by nature. Okay? We talk, we communicate by speech. So, speech. Speech is, is evidence. Okay? Speech, okay, it would be useless without someone to talk to. So, useless without someone to talk to. Why do we have speech? Well, it's, it's to communicate with people. And we make progress okay, in society. Okay, we make progress and uh, and better ourselves, okay? By communicating, okay? Um, sharing ideas. Ideas and uh, correcting, okay? Correcting um, other ideas. We improve on things. If you look at the first car, the automobile, and how it's improved. People bettered ideas, they, they corrected other ideas. We have technology that results from this. And we, make, we make progress as um, as human beings. Okay? It's through our speech. Speech allows us to do this. Okay? That's what makes it possible. Uh, now, sharing ideas. Okay? Now, root animals don't have ideas to share. Okay? Root animals, when I say brute, that means non-rational animals. Okay, Root animals don't have ideas to share. Pure and simple, they don't. They have nothing to say. All animal sounds that they make, you know, concern the passions, okay? Animal sounds, the noise they make, barking or meowing or whatever, okay? It's uh, to convey the passions, okay? The passions meaning, okay, uh, to eat, okay? They want to eat something, they're hungry, hunger, okay? Uh, to procreate, okay? okay? To reproduce, I should say, okay? reproduce. Pain. Animals are in pain. They'll express their pain by letting out a noise, okay? But they can't share ideas. They don't have the ability to form ideas. Only we do. And speech allows us to convey our ideas, to share our ideas. So speech is evidence of man's sociality. You look at our speech and say, we're social. Speech is meant to be to, to communicate. Okay. So to communicate with others. That's speech. That's one evidence of our social dynamic.
Now another evidence that we're social by nature, okay? Okay. Two, man needs others, okay, for basic needs. We need others for our basic needs. What are our basic needs? Okay. A, sustenance. Okay. For food, okay. clothing, okay. housing. We imagine trying to do this all, all on your own, yourself. To gather, to grow food, to gather food, make clothes for yourself, provide housing. We need it for basic sustenance. Okay? We have to be social to, to, for basic sustenance, to, to survive, okay? survival. And also for um, Education. Okay. Physical, moral, okay. and intellectual. So we need, we have, the fact that we're social is because we, we need, okay, we have this basic need for education. Little children need someone to educate them. Uh, what's, what's the story of Mowgli who, who grew up, uh, you know, the Jungle Book grows up with animals, okay. Rudyard Kipling had a story about someone who grows up raised by wolves, okay. And you don't know how to communicate. They don't know how to talk because they just kind of have to be talked at. So, pardon me? What did you use talking to talking to animals? So. Yeah, well, in the, in the, <laughs> the story, yes, yes, but uh, actually, we, we know that's, that's not possible. So, <clears throat> so, Evidence for man's social nature, okay? Um, it's not natural okay, to live okay, in isolation. Oh no, it's just this is just. Uh, um, An elaboration of on point two, okay. For our basic needs, for for sustenance education, it's it's just not natural to live in isolation apart from family and friends. And um, isolation is is painful to people. Okay? It's painful. In prison, what do they do to you if you are are um, you know, breaking the prison rules? One of the punishments 
in prison is what? They like trap you in a room by yourself and isolate you. Solitary. It's, it's solitary yeah. confinement. Yeah. I thought he was talking about yeah. that myself. Yeah. <laughs> <It's not laughs> <it's not laughs> solitary confinement. <laughs> solitary confinement is a punishment because you're going to be separated off, living in a in a in a one room existence. They'll throw you food. This is meant to, to torture people to. To, uh, to, or to punish them, okay? Sometimes they've, uh, saints have been, have been punished by this way. St. Thomas More had to live you know, up, in, up in the London Tower because he refused to go along with King Henry VIII, who declared himself the head of the church in England. He said, no, the Pope's the head of the church, you're not. So he stuck him up in the Tower of London, and finally, when he couldn't do anything else with him, he cut his head off. He had Richard Rich tell a lie about how he heard him over overheard him say that he, he uh, uh, thought the king was wrong, and which he never said. St. Thomas More was a lawyer. He was sharp enough not to say why he was not taking the oath of supremacy. Okay? But yeah, solitary confinement, I mean, you're, it's not natural to live in isolation. You, you want to live with others, we're social by nature. and. Um, even if you think about it, activities that, that may seem to be asocial okay, or antisocial, okay, they're really social. Sitting playing a video game by yourself requires the cooperation of others. Someone had to make the game, someone has to provide uh, the manufacturing for this. If you're doing it on the internet, Okay, or on some machine, it, it requires the cooperation of a lot of people. There's nothing, nothing that is really um, totally isolated about it, even though you may be playing it yourself. The poet John Donne said, no man is an island. Okay. Very famous words, have you heard of that? No man is an island. We, don't, we aren't an island off by ourselves. We exist with others. We cooperate with others. We live in communal relationships. Okay. So, it's just, it's, it's not natural to be um, separated off from others and, and living alone. We, we need it for, for our survival, okay? Now, uh, <clears throat> we talked about needing others for education, for sustenance, okay? For our basic needs, okay? We also need others, this is number three, okay? We also need others. For our abundance. Okay. For our abundance. Okay. What do I mean by that? Well, um, I need students to teach. Okay. I'm not going to stand here and, and look at the walls. If I, if I, if you, if you came in here and saw me just speaking to, to no one here, you think I wasn't in my right mind. Okay. No. Uh, teachers need students, okay? Because I have an abundance of information that I want to share with you, okay? So, teachers need students. Students, okay? To share, okay? Ideas, okay? Farmers need, okay, people to eat the food, okay? To eat what they grow, okay? You go down the line and just give examples of this, okay? That's from our superabundance. We, we, we need others, okay? If you're a carpenter, you need people to, to buy the things you make, your furniture, okay? So, that's from our abundance, okay? We have an abundance. We, 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 we manufacture more than we need, okay? So, <clears throat> now, what I'm, what I'm about to say is, is 
uh, in regard to our human nature, okay, how we're different from animals. Okay. Animals and I mean brute animals here, okay? Non rational. Is this a point for three? No, this is just uh, uh, Are we done with that or? We're, we're done with the uh, well this is kind of just an addendum to the three points, okay? In addition to the three points, animals non rational are social from need only. Animals are social from need only. Abundance, both. Okay. Animals don't produce more than they need. Okay. Animals don't have ideas that they need to share with people. Only man has an abundance. Okay. Non rational animals don't. Okay. God okay. is social. by abundance only. So man, God is social by abundance only. Three persons, okay, three divine persons, they're infinite. Goodness, okay. Infinite knowledge, infinite goodness. Knowledge, goodness, go through the attributes of God, okay. Beauty, truth, okay. So we're social from both needed and abundance. That's the truth about human nature. If we reflect on human, human nature, we, we know this. And <clears throat> another thing about animals, okay, non rational, I'll just leave that up. exist solely for the group, okay. for the species. Okay. That's the reason for their existence. Bees, sheep, Lions, they only exist for the group, for the species. Okay? That's their only reason for existing. Okay? But man okay, exists for whom? So why, why do 
why does man exist? Non-rational animals, think the lower animals, they exist for the group, for the species. What's the reason for our existence? Maybe what? Okay. Okay, that's that's true. Yes. Okay. That's okay. Um, Well, man exists for himself. Okay. Because we're made in the image of God. And the species. Okay. Both. We exist for ourselves. Okay. So you're right, yes. We exist for, we're different. We exist for a, a different purpose. Okay. Um, and <clears throat> there's something that complicates life in society, and that is our free will. Animals don't have a free will. Animals just are acting by instinct. They're going to run with the herd, do whatever it will be. You're a, a lion, you're whatever you are, OK? But we have free will. And that makes social relations complex because uh, we have the ability to do good or evil, okay? to not do what is best for ourselves or others. This, this, this causes problems in society. So, so man's free will makes living in society complex, okay? Our free will okay, makes social social living okay, complex. It's not easy. There are, there are different social theories. So our free will okay, makes it difficult to, to live together. Uh, what's happening right now in Washington, D.C., this is a good example of it. Washington, D.C., there's a big debate going on right now okay, because there's a deadline coming, I think it's next week, for a budget, or else the government's going to shut down. Okay. The president, members of Congress, they're all arguing over things. Okay. There are, are, are those who don't want to fund uh, the new health care law. They want to do something different. The president's saying, no, I want this. They're going back and forth. Our federal government may shut down next week. They can't, they can't come to an agreement. Why? Well, because of the complexity of, of, of trying to formulate, formulate laws and policies. Okay? What's best? The president, some people have one idea, others have another idea, so they clash. And politics is social living put into practice. Okay? You have to try to come to agreements on things. Can't have your way. You have to go back and forth and try to find a, a solution to things. Okay. So this is just an example of how our free will makes things complex in social living, social discourse. Okay? It's not easy. It's 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 difficult. Okay? Because there are people who say we can't go along with this health care health care plan as it is. It's infringing on people's conscience. So we will we're not budging. On we're not, we're not going to accommodate uh, something that's, that's forcing people to participate in, in what they believe is an evil. So what are we going to do? Well, we'll see what happens, how this plays out. Well, that's a perfect example of the complexity of our social nature and our free will. Okay? So I think uh, 
that will be about all for today.